Hi there, this is Ravi and the presentation is on importing an LDAP source using Power Exchange for LDAP. The agenda of the presentation would be a demonstration showing how to invoke the LDAP import wizard, how to configure to be able to connect to the LDAP server. choosing the required or relevant base GN selecting required attributes to generate the metadata and importing the same let's move on to the demonstration click upon the sources to be able to get the menu of options to import the source metadata of course you need to be in the source analyzer tab of power center designer to be able to do this the option of import from LDAP directory would invoke the import option or the wizard for the LDAP source This would uh, require details like LDAP host port along with a user credential to be able to bind with the LDAP server. Now the user credentials, uh, the user part of it would be the distinguished name of the user, not just the CN or, or, or the domain with a front slash. So giving the distinguished name of the user along with the password should let the wizard to be able to connect to the LDAP directory server successfully. A connect successful message will be shown in the wizard once the connect is successful. The next step would be to select the base GN over which the source of the LDAP is based upon. This is a list of the valid naming contexts defined in the underlying or the connected LDAP server. Choosing one of them would be mandatory to go to the next step. So this would mean that the entries being read using this LDAP source will be confined to this particular naming context or the base GN. This window will also has an option of previewing data by providing a filter value and selecting show entries option. But this step is not required for the metadata import. It is just to preview the data for the sake of viewing whether required attributes and entries are visible for the given base GN. The third step involves selecting the attributes and the object classes that they belong to. The object classes manuring to the attributes would be easy when, when, when uh, going through object class so let's have a sample selection of an object class to take this forward most commonly used would be something like init org person which uh, usually uh, any defined user uh, would have by default a few other such commonly used object class would be for example um, a user or a group so uh, let's look for it a user could be used to to get few more related attributes at and so on so once the object classes are selected the respective attributes would be reflected on the right hand side of the LDAP import wizard Let's select few of these attributes for the import purposes. 
so dn by default would get added in most of the attribute cases as it being the unique identifier for any object beyond that let's select few of uh, most commonly selected uh, fields like let's look for mobile perhaps is one of the attributes one might be interested in mail of course could be useful and so on Let, let's also choose the department number for sake of having a couple of more attributes and UID alright yeah so I think we have g good number of attributes in there to start with now we see that f while while few attributes like mail and mobile are single valued there are attributes which are multi valued like department number and, and UID so essentially the point here is that the attributes could be either single valued or multi valued now let's go on to the next step uh, which is to give the name of the LDAP source to be created and it's required that add to import list to be clicked upon to see whether the required attributes are coming in so we see here that the LDAP uh, source name is, is, is as shown and the DN is as selected in the first after connect after getting connected to the, the lab server and the involved object classes and the attributes clicking on finish now would generate the lab source we see that the lab source uh, got generated and having a look at it we do see that while the single valued attributes uh, get added as part of the parent group the multi-valued attributes like department number and UID has their own separate groups created making the LDAP source a multi-group uh, source we have seen and heard how to import an LDAP source in a power center designer tool using power exchange for LDAP I hope this video has been helpful we would love to hear from you on the mentioned channels. Please do provide your valuable feedback. Thank you.